really lovely to meet you. Thanks for coming in today. And I believe you've got some questions that you want to ask me. Yes. What inspired you to become an author? I was a teacher for quite a long time. And I used to write a lot of poems and plays and stories for the children in my classes. And I guess I got to a point where I thought, I wonder if I could write stories that a wider audience would read than just the children at my school. I thought there was, you know, absolutely nothing to lose. How long have you been writing for? I started writing obviously when I was your age at school because everybody has to be a writer when they're at school. But for me, being a writer just never seemed it just never seemed possible because you know writers were very mysterious. When I was teaching was probably when I really truly began. And I was first published in 2003, but I became a full-time writer at the end of 2012. So it's been my job for about five and a half years now. How long did it take you to write Alice Miranda in Scotland? I wrote it in about sort of 39 days, which was really super fast. But the reason I can write so quickly is because I plan my stories out and I make sure that I know what the big ideas are in the story. I know who is in it, so I plan the cast of characters. But then obviously you've got to have some new baddies in there and some new characters to make it interesting. Have you ever been to the places <coughs> that you write about, like New York and Japan and China? Yes, I've been to all the places that I've written about, except for Barcelona in Spain. Even if I've been to somewhere, I often will use Google Maps and Street View and Google Earth so I could sort of map out where we would go if we were there. Out of all the books you've written, which one's your favourite? I don't have a favourite. It's like asking a parent who their favourite child is. I know, it's disappointing. Kids ask me that question all the time, but no. What advice would you give to kids who want to be writers? Okay, well I would say that one of the things that you need to do is pay attention to the world around you. I, I always have a notebook with me or I use my phone and I put notes into my phone. I think for kids one of the most important things is planning a story because you have a very limited amount of time to be able to write a story often it might only be you know half an hour or 45 minutes and I think if you plan for you know 10 minutes or so at the beginning and you know where you're working towards then that's going to make it easier for you to write the story fall in love with your characters that's a huge one for me I absolutely adore Alice Miranda and Clementine Rose and Kenzie and Max I even love the baddies in the stories because you know you get to do all this stuff that you could never do in real life I would hope no. the other thing is I would say take loads of photos wherever you go photos will help you to remember lots of stuff in the future so yeah there's some some quick tips oh and know what the ending should be don't don't do bad endings like dot, dot, dot. oh dot 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 tbc to be continued if you never bothered finishing it properly in the first place you are never coming back to that story and the other one I would say that teachers hate I hate this one I woke up and it was all just a terrible dream Ugh. and the other one is when you kill everybody in the story just because you can't think of what else to do with them so there are many many more ways to you know when I finish a story I like to have this feeling I sort of have this really warm and fuzzy feeling and I sort of you know sigh <laughs> and I think oh, it's done and that's how it should be. Thank you so much for chatting with me today. Your questions have been amazing, Emily, and I hope that you've learned a little bit about what it's like to be a writer. Yeah. Excellent, great.